nature has amazing creativity and produces animals that seem unbelievable. In this episode, we will explore some of the unusual creatures that live around the world. Let's get started. The island of Myla is a volcanic land that serves as a resting spot for migratory birds that fly to Africa. The snakes that live here have adapted well to this situation and use it to their advantage. Many snakes are so well camouflaged that they are invisible until they move. But even more surprising is that the bright red snakes also have no trouble catching their prey. The young birds have never seen them before and they are too careless to avoid them. They pay for their mistake with their lives. There is another similar small island called Chixingdao, which means Snake Island. And it is full of snakes, 20,000 of them. They all survive here thanks to the migratory birds. That stop by the island twice a year to rest. The rest of the time, the snakes are inactive and do not starve, they sleep. But when the island is crowded with birds, they have a limited time to eat enough for the next six months. At dawn, the snakes look for the best spots to ambush. Even a simple branch will do. 20,000 traps await the unsuspecting birds. The snakes wait, coiling the front part of their body like a spring, ready to strike. In a flash, they grab their victim. The snake does not stop at one bird, it continues hunting until it gets two to three more. For two weeks, the snakes go out every day for their feast. Snake Island is the worst place on the planet for birds to fly, but fortunately for the snakes, they do not realize that. The only bears that live in South America are the spectacled bears. They enjoy comfort and convenience above all. In the Andes, where they live, it can be dry for eight months straight. The only source of water is a distant spring. That creates a green oasis. There, the bear can relax and then it has to sleep soundly and long. These bears like to sleep with maximum comfort as well. That's why they do something unique among bears. They go up a tree, snap many twigs and make a real nest on the tree. It's cooler there than on the ground. The bear loves it. It can finally sleep almost as if it had an air conditioner. How cozy and pleasant. In the heart of the forest on Sulawesi Island, there is a mineral spring that draws many creatures every day. Babirusas emerge from the forest in family groups of 10 animals. There are so many animals at the water source that it soon becomes crowded. This irritates the local macaques a lot. The most bizarre thing is the male. You might think that he has horns like that, but actually, these are tusks. The males have tusks that pierce through the upper roof of their mouth. These animals are related to ancient pigs that arrived here from Asia. After the island broke off from the mainland, in isolation, they evolved a lot. The males used their strange tusks to hang from branches while sleeping. It was hard to find another reason. Because they do not use their tusks for fighting. Rather, when the male babirusas fight, they simply box onto legs. It looks just as odd as their tusks. They can stand onto legs to reach the tree leaves in the forest. They are called babirusa, which means pig and deer. Because they resemble deer and like deer, the males vie with each other. They also use their tusks like horns. The Japanese carpenter ants are very nervous. This is because of the pesky flies buzzing around. The forests are among the smallest in the world, but they constantly go after the ants. In the abdomen, at last, one of them succeeds in landing on one of the ants and then it takes off. But you would assume that this ant goes into the anthill, and soon something very odd begins to happen to it. After five days, it is obvious that something is not right with it. It is clearly unwell. Another ant attempts to help, but it is futile. And after seven hours since the first signs show up, the ant's head simply detaches. And then the ant still wanders around for 12 hours without a head and lives in such a zombified state. What does this mean? The fly that settled on it five days before determined its fate. The fly was able to deposit an egg in its abdomen. And then the parasite began to devour the ant's organs alive, turning the host into a zombie. And the ant's head comes off so that the developed for it can exit the ant's body. That's why this kind of forage is also known as decapitating flies. And if you think that after the head comes off, the fly is in this ant's body, then no, it is in the severed head. From where it eventually emerges, another colony got even more unlucky. There are dozens of severed ant heads here. Do you know these world celebrities? They are goats that climb rocks for various reasons. Sometimes they need food or safety. And sometimes they crave minerals. For example, do you remember the viral video of goats climbing a dam to lick the salt that flowed down it? 
That's what they do when there is not enough salt on the land. But what about the kids who are not skilled climbers yet? They have to follow their mothers on steep slopes, risking their lives. Look at this one who is climbing the dam for the first time. He has no choice but to keep up with his mother. If he falls, he will die. The higher he climbs, the more vertical the wall becomes. He relies on his superpower, soft and elastic soles, that wrap around even the smallest bumps and grip them with the hard parts of his hoof. He balances on the edge of life and death. And this is very exhausting for such a baby. He runs out of breath and can't go on. His mother comes to help him rest and recover. The kid falls asleep right on the vertical wall. Amazing. After a short nap, they resume their journey until they reach the height of 50 meters, where the salt they want is. The salt comes from the concrete and the water that seeps out of it. This salt is vital for the kid's health, but there are predators who take advantage of the mountain goats. Love for climbing. These are golden eagles. They are glad that the goats climb high because it makes their job easier. A golden eagle attacks a kid, grabs him, and drags him to the cliff. Then it lets him go. The free fall kills him. Golden eagles have hungry chicks to feed, so they have to repeat this process over and over. Sometimes they have to work hard to bring a resisting kid to the edge. This is risky, because if the eagle gets too close, it can fall too. It's a dangerous game, but the eagles have no choice. They have to feed their young. This is the harsh reality of life in the mountains, where only the strongest survive. But not all mountain goats are doomed to be prey. Some of them have learned to fight back. They use their horns and agility to fend off the attackers. On White Island in New Zealand, the temperature rises high at noon and the gulls are in danger of dying from the heat. Breathing fast does not help them. It only makes them lose more water and become dehydrated. Even though the sea is cool nearby, the young chicks cannot reach it. But the adult gulls have found a clever way to cool their offspring. They dive for cold and moist seaweed and bring it to their chicks and cover them with it. This helps them survive the heat very well. It is a smart solution. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. I appreciate your support and feedback. See you in the next video. Bye.